What is up 1320 fans? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to day two of Sick Week 2024. We are here at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Can you see any of the races behind me? That means they also made the 230 mile drive last night. We didn't leave the track till 7 p.m. Some racers didn't leave the track till 9 p.m. Didn't get here until 3 a.m. So a lot of people had a lot of long days, a lot of long nights. Yesterday there was a lot of breakages, a lot of oil downs, a lot of carnage. So I'm not even sure how many cars even left Orlando. But we are here, all these cars are here, and we get ready to go. Go around, talk to some people, see what the struggles they had on the road, if any, and then we're taking some racing action here in a little bit. How'd you guys do on the road last night? What? How'd you guys do on the road last night? Uh, pretty good. Um, we lost the brakes one time. Oh, that's, uh, that's kind of dramatic. Yeah, it was, but luckily it turned out fine. And we had the idle turned up to keep the, the motor happy, even in, in gear, right. to keep the RPMs so up. So having to hold the brake the whole time? Yeah, so it was dragging. So gotcha. we were dragging the brakes to so keep up with traffic. And then we came to a stoplight and the pedal just went through the floor. There's no cars in front of you and hit nobody? There was cars, oh. so, but luckily there was a turn lane on the other, other side of the road. Like in the middle, yeah. So, and no oncoming traffic, so we were able to put it in neutral, turn into the turn lane, and then pull into a, like a hotel parking lot on the other side. But if they were oncoming traffic, we would probably would be. Jeez. Glad you guys made it. Yeah. What did you guys do yesterday? Twenty eight. Uh, six twenty eight. Yeah. Six twenty eight. Yeah. What's the goal today? Just another low six. Hope so. Yeah. Okay. So, Glad to see you Try to repeat or something. Yeah. Good luck today. Thank you. Jeff Lutz with a 615 yesterday. Looks like he made it here. We're gonna check in with him right now. What time did you guys get on the road last night, Jeff? Uh I don't know. Dark? Light? Dark, late? Late? Dark, dark. It what was time dark, did you dark. make it into town? Four o'clock. Oh my god, dude. Shit, that ain't nothing. We did we thought that before we went and we made it to the hotel. We had to cancel our room. That's fair. Well no, actually we had to pay for the room, huh? So we just couldn't sleep in it. But it was a uh, it was a great drive, you know that that was all self inflicted because we wanted to stay and right you wanted you know, to do go for something yeah so well we I think we got the bottom end or the first half figured out so I think we're gonna be all right gotcha so uh, real quick just for the fans at home how long does it actually take you to get this thing from race mode to street mode and about, street mode to race about mode? an hour and twenty minutes oh it's not bad no like I just went through all the valve train it's just all preventative maintenance right. you know? Like I just told one of the fans, it's easier to pull them out than beat them out. So. Right. But uh, it was a pretty smooth ride. We burn up two fans, but other than that, it was pretty straightforward. Gotcha. You know, filled up twice. And the way we went. What's the goal today? Are you gonna are you uh, gonna sweep for it three times? Or are you just gonna try to do a one and done? I I would like to. Well, talk to me in about an hour. All right. All right. Fair. Good luck, Jeff. All right, buddy. Top seven today. Okay. Can I get a seven, please? We'll see. And it made some changes to it. We're 200 pounds lighter. I went on a diet last night. Oh, it's a little lighter? I lost myself 200 pounds. So actually more than that, the front tires are going Oh, we're lightweight front tires on it, too. Oh, you guys, get, this thing's going to be spicy by the end of the week. Give me a six. All right, guys, good luck to you. A six-second Durango would be crazy. It's not going to do that, but it'd be pretty crazy. <laughs>
Yeah, 760 is not going to do it. He didn't even throw his shoots. He was not happy with that pass. Uh, and a 9 for Mr. Bailey, so he's not going to be happy with that either. Both of them are going to flip their cars around and come back around. drive last night for you guys it was good not bad yeah no it was all good but we got some street injectors haven't run in six months and they're dribbling a little bit so when we'd idle through town and stoplights and stuff it's smoking a little bit but other than that it was perfect so good. no problems really what's the goal today the goal is any six any six yeah well, of course we'd like to go faster if we get a 99 or something we might come back with another one but uh -huh. the goal for the week is sixes every day but this one isn't faster than the one yesterday. It shouldn't be. Good luck, Alex. Yesterday, Alex put up her personal best in the car ever. So today, they're looking for just a six. A six, and they'll be happy. They're looking for a six-second average throughout the week. She got squirrely on the big end. The back end of the car was all over the place. That was kind of scary. Uh, otherwise, that would have been a six. So hopefully, get that figured out. That was crazy. I can show you the video. It, it shimmied real good on the top. It was, so it was bad. It was bad. Like she saved it. See, it was bad. Like I was doing it as one thirteen sixty, and I got down there, and the car kicked Love left it. on me. Yeah. And I was like, like not like, like there's the feel of like where you can like move around, you know, but it right. wasn't. The back end kicked out from under me and I was like, threw the shoes, it straightened the car out and it danced around and I got stopped. I thought I dropped oil. No. Is the Volkswagen before. It looked, when it looked, when I saw it, there's no smoke, no nothing. You just went sideways a little bit. Yeah, but it was a 709. Yeah, I about to say, you could still turn that in. I, I know it's not your, it, you won a six. To, but it'll keep me in second place for right now. Right. Um, so I am happy about that. I still want that six so we'll probably make another pass but at least the car is in one piece there you go there you go you got something you can turn in and Absolutely. you're in one piece and i'm not crying in five it hits me every time guys. <laughs> How's it going, sir? All right, how are you doing? I'm great. I, I didn't see this thing yesterday, I saw this thing today. As soon as it pulled up, I was like, this thing's a bad bitch. I love this truck. What is the setup on it? Give me a real quick rundown on it. Uh, it's a 1500 Ram with a 6.7 Cummins. Okay. Um, SNS fuel, 
What, trans what transmission? Uh, Govern transmission, 48RE Dodge. Okay. Uh, Big single or compounds? Compounds. Or? Okay. So 72 over an 85. What kind of power does it make? Uh, Probably 1,200-ish. Hell yeah. All right. All right. What are you hoping to do throughout the week with it? Uh, make it through the week. That's the best. <laughs> that's the best thing I've heard all day. That should be your number one game plan. Yeah, we had what'd three you miles run, on it before we got here. So. What'd you run up there just now? Uh, 10.0. Oh, oh, that's 10.01 or whatever. Yeah, 10.01. What, what, what is your goal, ET-wise? Uh, I don't know. Just dip into the nines for the first week. Be good. Okay. Yeah. Dip into the nines and finish. Yep. All right, Aaron. Good yep. luck to you, yep. sir. Feel good? What was that? What do you what do you what do you think it was? 693 okay 209. I'm okay with that. Pack it up. Head to gate. I was so nervous. Just because it wiggled on the first pass? No, because so there's a multitude of stories. That means it's that I was nervous because I had low oil pressure on the first pass. That's why I thought I dropped it. Oh. I just went up and I did a burnout and had low oil pressure, but I brought it up in RPM and it was fine. So I went with it. Um, but we're okay. Everything's good. Oh yeah, get okay. it packed up. Thank we'll you. see you in Gainesville. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> do that come on you have the only supra on the property buddy and this is a real supra it is yep yeah okay so first of all i saw your first well i your first pass sounded really impressive from the starting line yeah. but it, you spun and bad things happened yeah about a foot out it all went wrong what is give me a quick rundown on the supra what's the setup like? it's a really clean car by the way thank you uh trying to keep it clean it's hard to keep black cars clean especially on a dragon drive um it's actually pretty basic uh it's a non-turbo block uh it's got a little bit of a uh, epoxy in it just for strength um, cp piston curl rod it's a stock port 2j uh, vvti head uh, it's a precision 76 85 next gen um, it's on motec that i tune uh, got a lot of powerhouse racing stuff gotcha. in this thing uh, they make a lot of awesome stuff for these cars and got about it's got a t56 built by rpm transmissions hell yeah row in them gears yeah, yeah, yeah it's got a g-force dog set dog gears in it uh, drive shaft shop nine inch. It's still independent rear. That's the oh, that's nice. The, that's the struggle uh, between that and a diaphragm clutch. I'm still having a slip in my foot. So you're driving the car like it was meant to be driven. Yeah, there you go. I, I mean, I'm stick shit for life. But yeah. what's your ET goal for the week? Uh, I'm trying to do an eight every day. Okay, uh, that's the main goal. Drag week, I did four eights and a nine zero. So that, I'm just uh, <laughs> want to get that monkey off your back. Yeah, that's the last goal I got. Really, what did you do yesterday? Eight seventy one. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So yeah. anything anything in the eights, or are you looking for, what, do you have a pie in the sky goal? Well, I came in here leading Sick Freaks with an 871. Number two was an 892. He just went an 883. So I got to match that or, you know, be close up there. Just okay. Try and, try and hold right. on to lead. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thanks, Glad man. to see the Super made the drive. Yeah. We'll see you up there, man. Have a good one.
Chief, what happened? I know you didn't make the trip last night, even though you're here. What happened All to the right, car? All right, so El Toro, you no, know, we went 521 yesterday. So I was ripping. That was good. You are ripping. Everything felt perfectly fine. You right. Know? And uh, loaded up, got on the road. About, <laughs> see, it's probably about like, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes down the road. And uh, I saw the oil pressure falling down and uh, just basically downhill from there. We uh, pulled off. Uh, just seemed like it was low on oil and went to put some oil in and pulled the cap off. And uh, there was a bunch of plastic shavings in there. And gotcha. I knew we were screwed from there on. So we think it got a timing guide chain because it's a coyote so there's like plastic guides in there and uh yeah that was about the end of it for el toro well sorry you didn't make all the race week you're gonna do all the sick week sorry you didn't make sick week or finish you're gonna be here all week though no i'm gonna we gonna work for doug okay I'll be happy with anything faster than a 750. Okay. So it went 745, 189 yesterday. So oh, yeah. yeah, just sort of keep that pace and finish. Okay. Remind us real quick, what's the setup on this thing? Uh, so 427 LS, twin 80 mil turbo, oh. turbo 400, nine inch, leaf springs, 275 radial. Okay. And is it weird to drive on the left side? Um, <laughs> no, not like we get used to it because we're here so often. Right, okay. But it's weird, I'll go back home and get leave home go to work and drive on the left side and not even think about it <laughs> and i get to work and go hey like it, i didn't it feels weird yeah gotcha gotcha but, yeah. well good luck in your pass no worries. Something you. mid sevens good race day all right buddy race good luck Okay, so the hood just flew off the Chevy too. Oh my God. No flame. When did the front end come on? So it wheelied, like sort of probably 150 feet out. And then just, yeah, obviously air got under it and went. So. Ah, good times. Well, congrats on the 54. Yeah. Right. Sorry about your front end, but. Good. You guys ever seen a Cummins diesel in a Chevelle? Fred's coming. Ah. Try to be professional. Fred's coming. Yeah, All right. Well, it's actually really nice in here. This is like a really nice little pro mod you got here. <laughs> it's a little mini mod. <laughs> is that, is that mini mod? It's a little mini mod. <laughs> that's that's it. we caught the mini mod. No more snot rockets. Mini mod. Okay. So it's 6:35 yesterday. 6:35. 2:28. Are you just gonna try to back it up and do another? Do you try to spice it up a little bit? What are we looking at? It, it's spiced up like just like a little sprinkle. Okay. A little sprinkle in the in the front half. Just a little. A little sprinkle. Okay. Yeah. So and you know if if we.
we miss, we miss. We'll come back and run it again. We know we have slower tune-ups, but um, I, I want to go a little quicker, so we're going to try to go a little quicker. Gotcha. And you're no stranger to this track. You know it pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the advantages I have at, the, yeah, at, this, yeah. at this race. All right. Well, something 650 or faster, hopefully 630 or faster. Oh, if it doesn't spin in 10 feet, it's going to go uh, like a 31, a 29 to a 30. And you've never hit a 20, is that? I've never been faster than a 33. Okay. All right. All right. Well, good luck. All right. Well, for a 20, buddy. Thank you. Well, we had it off last night because we had to do some hitch repair Holy and we didn't have the right rivets for the carbon panel on the back and apparently they didn't do so well. At, how, what was the trap speed? 228? 228? 227? Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Do you know what the ET was? 629? Yeah. Yeah. How are you not more excited right now? I thought I was going to tell you something you didn't know. Well, I, no, I have my, every, my phone's like, bing, 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 bing. Oh, oh, gotcha, <laughs> you know, gotcha, uh, gotcha. Well, no, well, personal best. Yeah, personal best. First time you hit a 20. Six times I hit a 20. Okay, so one and done, pack it up. Yeah, one and done, fix the bumper. I guess when you go 227, that'll happen. I mean, it's not a piston, so. Check in with Canadian Chuck Norris today. How we doing, buddy? Good, Fred. How are you? Good. How many miles are we at for the trip so far? Probably about 3,500 miles. Jeez. We made a on the way down. So. Okay, so I know the car, fresh setup, new engine. What is it? Uh, all we did was uh, freshen it up, but we dry decked it so there's no more water. So just water through the heads? Nope. So the block has still got water through it. It's a factory. Water goes in the block now, out the back of the block in the back of the heads out the front through the normal thermostat okay still got a heater in it okay yeah and it, it did uh, did the whole drive no problem yeah and i didn't know i left it minus 14 so i'm like geez i hope it keeps cool in florida <laughs> and uh yeah no issues it's it's been great basically zero issues as far as that goes and then uh, yesterday yesterday new pb i'm ahead of bill now that's all that really matters oh Wait, what was your, what'd you do yesterday? I went 861 at 161. And I let off at about the 820 mark because my light was flashing at me and I wasn't sure if it was low oil or what it was. And it was just a um, shift, shift light. 861, so, personal best. Hell yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you making more steam with the new engine or the refreshed yeah, engine? a little bit more boost. Okay, how much power are we making then? Um, so actually that that uh, 17 pounds is where we made 1,485 in the dyno. So, now that it's dry decked, I mean, I can go up to 20 if I want. And it's about every PSI is about 50 horsepower in this combo. Anyways. Oh my but, goodness. And, it's, uh, and it still weighs, what, 39? Yeah, so it's 39, 23 or something. Okay, so what are we shooting for, 8.6 today? Yeah, 8.5, eight, eight, 8.6. Eight, okay, okay. If I, could get, if I could get closer but not go under, then I'm going to have to make another pass. So, yeah, we'll try for another All right, Rich. Good luck to you. Good to see you, Fred. Absolutely. You too, man. He drives this thing from Red Deer, Alberta, Canada, which if you drive it straight to Orlando would be 2,800 miles, but he goes different places. He stops and sees friends on the way. So he's at 3,500 miles for the trip in that thing the whole time. Makes 1,500 horsepower. That's awesome. 
stick car. these big tire guys are badly tire shake basically if the track is too sticky these huge slicks bite way too hard and they get tire shake every single big tire car this round has had tire shake and got out of it he pedaled it got back in it. i think he just ran a 667 not really what he wants but second fastest pass to date 667 it's not bad i had to pedal it right no yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody's having tire shake out there second fastest pass today yeah everybody's just having a struggle up there good i need, a, I need everybody else to struggle <laughs> So we've got James Tall with Ruby right behind me. He did an 850 with a zero yesterday, so he's in the lead. But unfortunately, Cletus did not make it. Mullet had some issues. He took it to a shop last night. They are out of sick week. But Ruby's still in. with an eight or 851 with a nine real close he's trying to get that 850 with a zero like he did yesterday he might take that and go with it was identical to the 850 with a no pass. Oh really? And yesterday. So if yeah, you would have ran it out. The tracking were identical. Damn. It was just carrying three mile an hour to the eight and I could feel that in the car. So I didn't want to break out. But now that I got that data, we're going 850 with the something. Okay. How close is the next closest person? Uh he went at 851 with a three yesterday. Okay. And then broke out just now. Okay. So gotcha. Are you going to keep going until you get 850 with something? I'm going to get an 850 with a something on this pass. And then load it up, around, Gainesville. Take a nap, hit the road. All right, buddy. Good luck. Thanks, buddy.
47 at 159. A little too quick there. He's going to take a little bit out of it or maybe throw shoots a little early. He will be back around. This is my favorite delivery van, I swear. Thank you. Big block, twin turbo. What kind of power does it make? About a thousand. About a thousand. About a thousand. And what ETs are you running with it this week? What's that? What ETs? We brought a 10, uh, 10 Rick Rick and a 1080 so far. Oh, yeah. Good luck this round. He's on the left side of the racetrack. Hopefully get a little better. Okay. Good luck, man. Thank you. position is. How about Kevin Wells, the 1934 Blaster? That sounds great. Now just wait for it to make a pass. Crazy. Something this big should not have this much power or be this fast or look this cool, but it does all of those things at once. your best ET in the car? Uh, with the van body, it's been a 9.5, but before we put the van body on, we got it lined up to go to 871. Gotcha. It's a little slower now. With the gotcha. What's your goal this pass? Uh, to be tied. Okay. Good, good one. That's a good one. Well, we're limited to 10.0, so the goal is to be tied and stay slower than 10.0. Okay. All right. Good luck, All right. man. We'll see what it does. Test the plaid. Model S. The Honda Odyssey body. It looks... Good. good when it leaves and it's so quiet it just I love that car Transmission cooler or whatever. 
whatever. And it's like, it probably takes three hours to get a transmission back in mullet. So, you know, and, and if it's not perfect, mullet will kill it. You know, mullet will kill whatever's in its way if it's not a perfect part. Okay. So I was like, dude, I'm not going to just grenade this guy's that's pretty much, I guess, already her transmission, or maybe. And then I have, you know, I have to call him and say, hey, I also blew your stuff. So I was like, we're done. You know, so we took it too far. Gotcha. And now we got some more big boys in the lane. We got Tom Bailey in the Durango. We've got Lutz in his car. And we got the Swedes in the Escona. We only got about 45 minutes left, so all of these things are probably going to be their last hits, unless they can rush around and get it cooled off and get it turned around. But, uh, Probably the last hits for the big boys today. aggressively that time, not a good hit. 10.24, not a good pass, he's not gonna turn that in. I guarantee they're gonna come back around, try something else, try to go for another pass. He wants that six second average, he wants a faster than 6.19 average. Big guys with big slicks are doing well at all. All of them gotta come back around and put something down. Today. I'm not sure exactly what they were working on, but it was up in the air for most of the day today. Finally comes up here for a pass, and it pretty much as soon as it hit the top end of the track, just goes.
Lutz had tire shake again, but drove through it. 693. 693, 213. Yeah, he did a six. It wasn't a strong six, but they said he had tire shake and drove through it. No, it keeps, it's sneezing out there. That would have been a low six second pass if it wouldn't stop sneezing. I don't understand the sneeze. I don't know if I'm going on. I might just call it a, call it a night. Oh, he's yeah. still got a six second average. Yeah. That ain't what I was here for. I know. I, I wanted to beat my own average. You know? Yeah. Like he's talking about, uh, he has the record for Dragon Drive ever, which is an average of a 619 over five days of competition. That's insane. Uh, I'm sure also a five would be a great thing to add to the, to the list of accomplishments there. But he really wanted to break that record, so. day no other cars are going down the track which means we have quite the mix-up going on in the field so uh, not a lot of the big tire cars had good passes whether it was a bad tune-up or the tire shake or whatever whatever it was I uh, only I think three or four cars got sixes Lutz did a 693 uh, Alex did a 690 something Brett did a 629 in the radial so good for him but I think he was pretty much the quickest today uh, a lot of struggles today. I think the Porsche is out. He blew up. We'll, we'll go over there and check it out. But that's pretty much going to do it for uh, the racing at the track today for day two of Sick Week. Uh, now we have a couple two, 300 mile drive to Gainesville tonight. All the competitors have to do that. And then we'll be racing at Gainesville tomorrow from nine to three or maybe four or five. So we're going to, I'm going to walk around, see how everybody's doing and then get on the road here in a little bit. checkpoint of the night is the motor enclave uh this is they got like a bunch of garages they have a racetrack this is a pretty cool area for automotive enthusiasts in general but they closed so pretty much we can just go to the sign take your picture with your car and then move on i think they had it open earlier so you can go around there see some of the garages see the track might sit here for a few minutes see what other cars roll through but they've been pretty consistent it's nice that we're on the road in the middle of daylight it's not really quite daylight. dark yet it's yeah. not quite dark yet yeah up with some more racers and take you some more action or the next checkpoint whichever one we find here we go checkpoint number two which is rj's wild wild wings there's a bunch of race cars here in the parking lot everybody's getting their pictures and some are eating some are just moving on Here. A lot of cars. 
cars here. Nobody really working on anything because everybody kind of hanging out, uh, taking pictures, just chilling, or getting food. So we're gonna get back on the road. I think there might be one more checkpoint tonight, maybe not. But uh, yeah, hopefully everybody here makes it to Gainesville tomorrow. Intersection. Cars are going around another car. Come up here, and there's a racer stuck at the intersection out of gas. So we blocked the road so he doesn't get rear ended or anything. Hopefully, that's a problem. So many gas stations, man. You picked right here. <laughs> Hopefully, that's it. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Just a couple. You're insane. You're insane. Dude. You're insane. <laughs> First time I've seen you guys on the road. You guys are bundled up. <laughs> you guys look like you came Crazy from freaking Alaska. How are you? What's up, boss? What's up? How's the drive been for you guys? Cold. Uh, yeah, it's not really all that bad. Just cold. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't take you guys seriously because I'm from Nebraska and we saw negative 40. I so don't know what that's like. You, I, I, would you do it on a motorcycle? Would you do negative 40 on a motorcycle? No, because then that would be negative 100 at that point. No. Well, it's what, like 45 out, 50 maybe? For the 60 so, miles. 45, 60 miles. 50. It's probably 60 right now. Y'all are, y'all are, y'all are just warm weather people. That's all <laughs> well, it is. Well, Florida, well, Florida boy. Uh, yeah. Say, there you go. There you go. Well, I was there you go. In Florida, but I'm, I'm in North Carolina now. <laughs> well, go get yourself a coney and some ice cream and stuff like that and we'll, we'll see you guys we'll you there's it. ice dude it's not that <laughs> cold you, you florida people you don't you don't even know what cold is all right all right guys we've been here a little while we got some ice cream we hung out with some folks we're gonna get back on the road i believe we have like 60 75 miles until we get to gainesville and then it's just going to the hotel pretty much after that. So this is the final checkpoint of the drive. And uh, we'll stop, we see some racers. If not, we're just gonna go to the hotel, so. Boys, what, what's wrong this time? Put gas, put gas. <laughs> what is it this time? Uh, it just, the same thing though. before, it just shut off. And now it won't start, the oh. battery's completely dead. Oh no. Is the alternator dead, so the battery died? So you didn't have spark, and that's why it died. I guess. I guess just go to Walmart. Yeah, go to Walmart. I'll be here. All right. Don't go. Be safe. Isn't it nice to have good friends? It you is. Know? Well, hopefully they can grab a couple of batteries and I can at least get to the town. I think we're 60 miles out, 70 something like that. Not too far. Not too far. Well, at least get it to the track, and if you got to, figure it out more tomorrow. Yeah. All right, man. It's either the battery or the alternator, one or the other. So. It, I, I'm thinking if the battery's dead already, the alternator's not charging the battery, and that's why it's kicking off. Yeah. But I'm no, I'm no genius or anything. So we're gonna get back on the road. Thank uh, you. Brother. I'll check in with you tomorrow at the track. All right, Thank buddy. You. Sounds good. See ya. Good luck to you. Hopefully, we'll be there. Yeah. Alright guys, we have made it to Gainesville. We're outside of our hotel, Mr. Guido. Uh, 
yeah, that's gonna go ahead and do it for our day two of coverage of Sick Week 2024. We will see you guys at the track tomorrow. Yeah.